Well, I bet you can't guess what's inside this box. I've been looking forward to checking this out for such a long time. Just realized this has a tremolo bar. This is the wrong guitar. I've been looking forward to checking this out for such a long time. This looks more like it. Checked by 758. Thank you, 758. Seven five eight. What have you done, seven five eight? So far, it looks pretty good. What do you think? It's very, very light, which is always welcomed. Empty battery box. No sharp fret ends or no fret sprout, but definitely no sharp fret ends. The nut looks like it's really well cut, which is nice. Bridge feels really good. It's like a um, Hip shot um, style bridge. Nice amount of friction on the volume pot. I'm really happy with this actually. The action's a bit high, but we can lower that, so that's not a problem. Overall, so far, I'm quite impressed. It's a good looking guitar. This is what Harley Benson call the ST20HH Active, but it's pretty much their version of a Jim Root from Slipknot Strat. Harley Benton can't say that, but there's nothing stopping me. So let's start by going over some specs. It has a poplar body finished in matte black, um, bolt on maple neck, roseacre fretboard. Let me know down below if I'm saying that right. I feel like I'm saying it right, but just let me know. Um, a modern C-shaped neck profile, 25 and a half inch scale length, 12 inch radius, so quite flat um, feeling, similar to most Gibson style guitars. A single volume control, uh, no tone, which is a combination that I really love, and a hardtail hip shot style bridge, um, which is really cool. Truss rod is um, a dual action truss rod, and probably the biggest difference between this and most of their other entry level S type guitars any active pickups. Toman also throw in a brand new nine volt battery, which they keep separate to the guitar, which I think is a nice touch. This is currently 109 pounds, $115 or 129 euros. So it seems to be a lot of guitar for the money, but we'll see if that is the case when we actually plug it in. The previous Hardy Benton models that I've experienced have all needed a basic setup and a fret polish. And so far, this is no exception. Um, and just to be clear, for this price point, I'm not complaining, although, Maybe if you don't have the experience or the ability in this area, then it's something you should probably factor into the overall cost of the guitar. I'm gonna stretch the strings and tune it up and then we can hear how it sounds out of the box. We'll start off with a clean sound and the neck humbucker. Bridge humbucker. Both pickups. And let's try it with some chorus uh, from the Angel Wing from Tone City. Now with more of a crunchy sound, I'll switch between the pickups as I'm playing.
and now more of a kind of high gain metal rhythm tone. And then with a boost, the Boss SD1. And now we'll try some lead sounds. So what did you think of the sounds? I think the pickup sounded um, and felt very familiar, similar to a set of EMGs, but I do have to say that I'm a lot more used to hearing EMGs in the context of a much lower tuning like drop B. So it's, it's been a while since I've used them in standard or drop D, which is supposedly what this guitar is set up for. I think it'd be unfair to give my full opinion of the guitar right now until I've had a little while longer sort of playing it and have had a chance to adjust the setup. I've had a few comments on previous Hardy Benton videos that I made from people curious as to how they're able to make a guitar at such a low price. And from what I can tell, it's a combination of Tome and having the buying power to order such enormous amounts of guitars that they can get prices to a point that most other brands just aren't able to hit. And then having no distributors or middlemen means that their percentage isn't added on to the final price. Mix that with the accuracy and consistency of modern CNC machines and you get to this point where you can buy a hundred pound guitar that you can actually gig with or record with. So if you can't afford a proper Fender Jim Root Strat and you don't really care about the headstock or the name that's on it, then I'd say give it a try. This guitar would make a perfect backup metal guitar or a second guitar uh, in a different tuning for one or two songs in your set, which is actually what I'm gonna do to this guitar. Um, I'm gonna put some heavier strings on it, down tune it, probably to drop B, um, tweak the setup and make a video showing it in what I would say is gonna be its best light. I made a video about the Harley Benson humbucker equipped T-type where it's set up for more sort of heavier playing. Um, so if you wanna check that out as an alternative option to this, you can click that just here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.